Today on Cozy Peach Kitchen, I'm showing you how to make Instant Pot rice and beans. We're using dry black beans and brown rice. You don't even have to soak the beans in advance because we're actually cooking the rice and the beans at the exact same time. I love this recipe because it is super easy to make. It's basically a fix it and forget it meal because you have to saute onion and then otherwise you just throw rice and beans in the pot, cook it, and an hour later you have dinner. Make burrito bowls, make tacos, make burritos, eat the rice and beans on their own. They're super flavorful and you can easily adjust the spices to your liking. I'll definitely throw in some tips as we cook along, but let's get started. To start, we're gonna go ahead and select saute. And we want it on the normal saute method. And I'm going to set that to seven minutes for now. You can always adjust it later if you need to cook things longer, but don't do anything yet. Wait for it to say hot and then we can add the oil. My pot says it's hot now, so I'm going to go ahead and add my olive oil. This is a tablespoon of olive oil. Now, once that oil's hot, I'm going to add my onions. I'm using one diced red onion, which is like a little over a cup of diced onion. We can go ahead and add that. And you get the nice sizzle. That's a good sign that it's hot. So we'll cook this for six to eight minutes. Let that timer count down. Stir it occasionally to prevent burning. And let the onions cook until they're golden and soft. And they actually have a little bit of browning on them. Makes them really good. Now, one of the most important things to do before you add anything else is to add just a little bit of vegetable broth to deglaze the pot because one of the biggest culprits of the burn error is having things like onions stick to the pot. So just add a little bit to that hot pot and stir it around. Make sure all of those little bits are off. Nothing is stuck or burnt. And then we can go ahead and add everything else. We're going to start by adding that broth. I'm adding four cups of vegetable broth. You can go for low sodium if you want something a little less salty. Add one cup of water. The reason I'm doing one cup of water instead of vegetable broth is because I don't want to open a whole other carton. You already have a lot of flavor from four cups of vegetable broth, so just Add broth if you want, keep it water, it's up to you. Next we'll add one can or 15 ounces of diced fire roasted tomatoes. I'm using a kind that is salsa style so it has a little extra flavor added to it, but just regular fire roasted also works. Add your spices, which is one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of dry oregano, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next up, add your dry black beans. This is one and a half cups of dry black beans that I already went ahead and rinsed and sorted. And finally, we'll add the brown rice. This is one and a half cups of brown rice and I've been asked if you can use white rice and it doesn't work in this recipe just because brown rice takes a lot longer to cook. And don't stir anything. Don't do it, just let it be. And all we do now is put the lid on the Instant Pot, set it to sealing, and adjust so that it's cooking for 28 minutes. It's gonna take some time to come up to pressure, about 15 minutes, and then it'll cook for 28 minutes, and then we'll let it naturally release pressure. So the actual recipe takes a little while to cook, about an hour, but it's totally hands-free. So I definitely recommend like coming home from work or whatever, putting this all in the pot, and then Boom, forget about it, and dinner's ready in about an hour. One of the most common questions I get is, can I soak the black beans? Yes, you totally can. If you soak them, you can actually reduce the cook time down to 22 minutes, which is how long it takes for brown rice to cook in the Instant Pot. I have the full instructions in the full recipe post, so you can click through for that. But you can soak your black beans to make them easier to digest and overall softer. You can't use canned black beans just because those are already soft and they'll just get really mushy if you cook them for as long as it takes to cook the brown rice. Also, the water volumes just won't work. So, while that cooks, clean everything up and I'll see you back here in a second. All of the pressure naturally released after about 23 minutes. So, I can go ahead and turn the vent. Nothing should come out because the steam already came out. 
and then take this lid off and a lot of steam is going to come out. Oh yeah, that looks good. So you'll definitely want to test the beans. All right. Oh, it's already so flavorful. Perfect. Yep. 28 minutes is just about perfect, I think. You can always add an extra couple minutes if you want even softer beans. But the flavors are awesome here. Of course, you can always adjust them to make it more your flavor preferences, but overall, just the base recipe is awesome. You can also add cheddar cheese, salsa, hot sauce, whatever you want. You can enjoy it in a bowl just like this or add it to tortillas for burritos. You can actually freeze the burritos and enjoy them as a quick meal, which I love doing and I'll add instructions on how to do that in the full recipe post. But otherwise, you can enjoy it in tacos, breakfast scrambles, whatever. Super delicious and easy to make. If you liked this recipe, please hit like or comment and don't forget to hit subscribe for more easy vegetarian recipes.